right, we're getting some new information into the Situation Room right now about the suicide bomb attack on a CIA base in Afghanistan that killed eight people. Uh, there have been a lot of questions about how the attacker actually got inside and whether he might have been some kind of double agent. Our Pentagon correspondent Barbara Starr has been digging into this story. Barbara, what are you picking up? Well, Wolf, I have to tell you now that a sen former former senior U.S. intelligence official has confirmed these details to CNN that these seven employees working for the Central Intelligence Agency were killed by a Jordanian double agent in this attack last week at a forward operating base near the Pakistan border inside of Afghanistan. Let's walk through the details about what the understanding is now, how this incident occurred. It's all still under investigation, but this former senior official tells us these essential details have been confirmed. U.S. intelligence was working with this man who had been working for both them and the Jordanians. They drove off base, the U.S. intelligence operatives, to go meet him off base. They put him into a car without searching him and drove him back onto base. He entered the base, therefore, without being searched, detonated his suicide explosives, killing himself, seven people, Americans working for the CIA, plus a Jordanian military officer. What's very important is that second Jordanian, the military officer, was basically the handler for this double agent. He had been working deep undercover uh, with U.S. and Jordanian intelligence. The Jordanians very quietly, very effectively provide a lot of help to the United States in that region. But it was, by all accounts, the failure to search the perpetrator when he got into a vehicle and was driven back on base that led to him getting so close to so many and this tragic incident, Wolf. Very tragic indeed. All right, Barbara, thank you.